What's up guys, Siobhan here back with a new video and today we'll be looking at all of these motor mods. We're gonna try them out. So if you guys didn't know, motor mods are Motorola's new way of going out with the modular world. So here we have a bunch of different motor mods. Basically, every motor mod you can get. We have the Hasselblad True Zoom right here. We have the Moto Insta Share. We have the Moto Turbo Boost Pack, which is the one that everyone should be interested in. We have my phone right here. Let me put that to the side. And then these are just basically non-functional cases that basically just brings colors to the back of your phone. So this is a nylon piece. These will cost you around $15, I assume. Yeah, it cost around $15. They look really nice, as you can see. This is my favorite one. We have the red one right here. Also one of my favorites. Looks really nice. We also have this, not bamboo, but this wood finish. So if you like wood, <laughs> if you like wood, you'll definitely like this one. So yeah, let's try them out. Let's see what they sound like. Uh, so the first one I'm going to test out, guys, is of course no let's just go through a quick lookbook of how these would look so here's the motorola z2 play very nice phone this is how the nylon ones will look on your phone so all you need to do is just snap it towards the pins right here as you can see so it's bap, just like that it gives your phone an amazing look it looks very nice just like that and if you're tired of this one just simply pop it out get another one boom simple looks nice looks elegant just like that really amazing let's try another one which is this nylon one that i said is my favorite i took some photos of this outside looks really nice and as you can hear it has this fabric fabric feel to it so definitely something elegant and it looks great with the black phone in my hand right now now well, let's move on to the stuff that are more functional so let's bring them closer right here so we have the insta share hasselblad true zoom we might go outside for this one and then we have the jbl sound boost so this is the jbl sound boost 2 and it also comes with an application that you could try out if you please so here we go Let's play something on our phone without the sound boost too. So let me just go on Spotify real quick. Let's play some. Something's missing. Boom. Listen closely. This is how it sounds without anything on it. It's, it uses a front speaker. Just listen. Take it off it pauses the music so you can hear it's a huge difference let's just do it one more time from speaker right here all right so that's the jbl sound boost let's take a closer look on it right here so you can see it uses fabric, nice fabric. We also have a kickstand right here. So we could prop it up just like that. Watch movies if we please. Definitely a good accessory, but it comes at a cost. It goes for around 80 bucks, which is something that a lot of people would say, why don't you just get a cheaper Bluetooth speaker? Like for example, this one right here. This is a very cheap Bluetooth speaker. It costs around 30 bucks and it produces amazing sound quality. So 
the thing with this is just that the convenience of having just to be able to just boom put it on your phone and you have a boosted sound but this is definitely cheaper and might sound even better but yeah that's just the thing with this it costs money and if you add up everything right here it will be a lot if you add up every mod right here would be a lot so why not just buy a flagship that's the only thing that only downfall with all these mods so next up we're gonna try out the power pack now this will give you around three it has 3490 million power and obviously that's a lot so that could give you around maybe two charges or so you see it's very thin it doesn't add any bulk to your phone if you didn't know this motor z is also very thin so they are around they're about the same size let's see right here anyways let's plop it onto the phone simple like this as simple as that it's on the phone right now so as you can see we have two bars currently i've been using this obviously so this is to just check the percentage so if you press that button it checks the percentage right there it doesn't turn it on but if you go into your phone you realize that we have some controls for this battery so you can see my battery is at 39 percent there's a plus sign up here that means that the battery pack is charging my phone currently we could also go into more settings which is right here and we could play around with the settings so as you can see we have it's charging on the motor mod right now so it's sucking juice from the motor mod as you can see so yeah i don't know why the cameraman is laughing i honestly don't know why you could also go in battery optimization and optimize it for everything so yeah very cool stuff right here obviously let's pull it down again let's go into the motor mod here we could go into more settings for the battery pack we could change the battery mood so if you go in here you could change it to efficiency and this is it maximizes usage by keeping it at 80 percent so you'll be always using your phone off the battery and it just keeps it at 80 percent and you can also just use the turbo fast charging and it just charges your phone so we have two options we could choose from right there you can also learn more about the mods and everything which is really cool so yeah that's it for the turbo turbo power pack sometimes these might be hard to honestly might be hard to remove from the phone as you can see i'm struggling right now it's literally not coming off <laughs> i don't know why no this is getting serious it's not coming off. ah that means these are really secure obviously so that's out the way now it's time for the insta share so this is a projector obviously so as you can see right here good packaging motor mods lenovo insta share projector this is about one year old i think so inside the box we get our projector we also get a moto mod carrying case with something in there what is this it's just a placeholder so, so yeah this is a nice carrying pouch and we could put this in here if i want to go on trips which is very useful I see. so yeah it smells nice too Woo, smell it <laughs> yeah it smells nice ah oh, anyways back to the video here we go this is our projector right here so all we need to do as mentioned earlier boom connected prompts to your screen and it shows you that hey the motor mod is connected so this is the projector well, what we can do is watch movies tv shows anything of that sort just by holding on to this button so let's just pull up something from youtube right here we could also use netflix if we please but let's pull something up there's nothing really interesting oh your average consumer so that's good of course we get the ads we all love ads so all we need to do guys is let's make sure that you're seeing it all you need to do is press this button so this is the focus ring 
so if you have foresight near sight you could play around with this focus ring and this is to turn the projector on so i'm gonna fire up the projector on that wall right there so hold down here as you can see it's on right now hit the lights so now we could see your average consumer on screen it's only in 480p but it's still watchable right still watchable the cool thing about it is that if, if the phone is tilted up it places his back like flat so it's really cool that it could do that we also have a stand right here so if we put it down flat we could get a good viewing angle just like this good viewing angle right here and it, it fights to make sure that the picture is in frame and it looks really nice so yeah this is the projector it it surprisingly costs around 250 bucks right now which is a lot in my opinion you could definitely buy a cheaper projector but as i said before all of these are just really convenience not really something that you definitely have to have but if you have it it's like yeah i have this it's good to show to your friends i remember when i just showed this guy behind the camera he was crazy about it so yeah definitely a good accessory so yeah usb-c and everything last but not least we have uh, we have the Hassel, Hasselblad Hazelblad true zoom this gives you 10x optical zoom definitely a go i heard it's not the best i heard a lot of bad things about this thing i heard the camera quality is poor i heard this phone camera is better than this thing right here and this costs around 250 bucks so keep that in mind before you go ahead and purchase i'll try to give you guys some test footage right about now if i can open this thing all right so we're in first thing we see is the the, the Hasselblad camera let's put it down right here we also have booklets that nobody uses put that to the side we also have the carrying pouch so Motorola is definitely looking for us to oh this looks really nice smells really nice too so Motorola is definitely looking out for us when it comes on to carrying and protecting our mods so yeah this is just a nice carrying pouch that we could use we have the Hasselblad logo right there which is really nice magnetic magnetic then we have the extenders right here so now let's try this on to our phones we'll take some shots inside might go outside if i'm feeling it so here it is all right so first thing first we get the the prompt that the motomod is on here it is motomod connected and we could learn more about the Moto Mod. We could replay the tutorials. So here it is. Get ready to blah blah blah. This is the optical zoom ring. We have the autofocus ring right here. Manual shutter. Retract lens by touching the on button. And yeah, so that's the setup. So if we want to start the top, we just press this power button right at the top here. As you can see, of course, the camera let, like it's flimsy. We all know that a lot of people are talking about how flimsy it is. It's definitely flimsy for real. Uh, we don't really have enough grip space right here to hold the camera. It's basically just we have to hold it like a normal camera like this. We can't really grip it. And I'm not sure what this is for it's not good ergonomics i'm not sure why it's there but if we want to turn this thing on as i said earlier touch that button boom we get that hasselblad loaded up just like that we have the forward zoom in zoom out so let's take a quick pick right here Dude, this actually looks really nice let's focus yeah it's not focusing <laughs> let's let's zoom out try to focus now let's take a wide angle photo so it has a xenon flash as well which is super bright so let's test that out on 
hit the lights real quick. Testing out the xenon flash right here. Yeah, super bright. Let's look at those images right now. Okay, Google, open photos. Hit the lights again. So we're supposed to have those images right here. So as you can see, nothing special. The sharpness is definitely lacking. A lot of noise. Yeah. It looks okay to me. Definitely looks okay to me. But we'll take it outside and I'll roll some footage of me taking some photos. Okay guys, so that's the video. We went through all these motor mods right here. We looked at the JBL sound boost. We look at the projectors. We look at all the cool accessories such as these cases for the phones. We checked out the turbo power pack and we also checked out the Hasselblad True Zoom. Now the big question is, are these all worth it? Now the thing is, as I said earlier on, it's definitely up to you and up to how much you can spend of course, all of these are amazing when it comes down to convenience. For example, the power pack, this runs about $80. You could easily get like a portable charger that costs like 30 bucks, but you'll have chargers swinging from your pockets to your phone. With this, all you need to do, snap one off, just like this, snap one off. You're running low on power, snap one on. Snap one on and then you're good to go. You don't have anything swinging from your pockets or, or nothing like that It's just super convenient. You're feeling like you want to wear red today Boom, we have red. We're looking good. We're looking awesome. And yeah, these are definitely worth it These cost around ten dollars These stuff now when it comes on to projectors, this is not something that you you'll use every day I'm sure you won't use this every day. This is just like something that you say. Oh cool I have this show my friends Watched a couple of videos. I'm not sure. It's only 480p, so I'm not sure if it's worth it. Speakers is definitely worth it because I've used this when I was showing and it was really, really good. So, yeah, these are all the mods. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something today. And thanks for the cameraman for keeping it steady. And always, guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.